2023 was filled with a lot of great albums. A lot of great artists have come to rise. A lot of them have fallen from grace. And with hip hop being so diverse in 2023, it's easy for people to have a lot of mixed opinions on what their favorite albums are. Today, I'll be presenting my top three favorite albums for 2023. And just a reminder, these are my personal opinion. This is just what came up on my Spotify rap. So I'm really basing it off my listening patterns of what I listened to the most last year. And let's get right into it. So at number three, we have The Estate Sale by Tyler the Creator. Now, this wasn't really an official album drop. This was more of a deluxe, if you consider it. But being that it was nine songs, I decided to throw it on here. This is something I listen to a lot. But the only reason I put it at number three is because I feel like I over listened to it and it ended up growing off of me. Like I hear Dogtooth and I immediately got to skip it because I played that shit like 20 times the first day it came out. And I'm just just overwhelmed by it. It's too much. But it's still a great project. Every song on there is really good. And it really has me excited for the direction that Tyler is going to go in. So I'd really like to see what direction he's going to go in with his next album, if he's going to keep doing rap or if he's going to go back more to like the Igor style. But we'll see. This point being that Tyler drops every two years, it doesn't look like we're going to get another Tyler the Creator album until 2025. So nine songs isn't really enough to hold over the fans for another year, but I guess that's what we got. So at least there were nine good songs. And then at number two, we have Let's Start Here by Lil Yachty. This was something completely out of left field from Lil Yachty. This is something that I was not expecting. I wasn't even planning on listening to his album when it dropped, honestly. Uh, Lil Yachty is somebody who I'm sort of very on and off with. I liked his uh, Detroit-style era when he uh, dropped Michigan Boat Boy and when he was really rapping with all the guys from Michigan. And then I really like Lil Boat 3, his collab with Ugly God, his collab with NBA Youngboy were really good and just a lot of singles he dropped here and there were good but it seems like in 2023 Lil Yachty really took a step up really dropped some experimental stuff and really worked with a bunch of more people to be able to expand his musical palette and really just become a better overall artist so that's why I put this here this is something I really enjoyed and an album I really found myself coming back to and listening to a lot not only just like certain singles but front to back album as a whole just listening to the whole thing and at number one this might be a little controversial for y'all, but I'm going to put Jack Man by Jack Harlow. This was a great project, honestly. Say what you want about Jack Harlow, but Jack can rap. He is a talented rapper beyond words. He knows how to find a flow. He really knows how to structure a song in a catchy way while still spinning some bars that will make you think and make you really digest his lyrics and really to go back and listen to again to what he had just said. So that's why I put this here. Five of my top five songs from this year were all on Jackman. Number one being They Don't Love It, which was just a really exciting song, a really nice, energetic song from Jack Harlow on a project where he wrote that he had to prove himself and really rapped a lot. It came out as if he had a chip on his shoulder that he was trying to gain the respect of rap fans, and he was really spent some good bars, and he honestly has a nice flow to him to make it easy to listen to, sort of good background music if you're not listening actively but it's also great music for when you're attentive really paying attention and really want to dissect some bars so i think this was honestly the best project of 2023 we have a lot of other great projects like a gift and a curse now gary hours three for all the dogs just the top three that i listened to all year these are the top three that i felt were worth coming back to a lot and just with my musical taste that's what i connected with the most and I'm excited to see what 2024 has to offer. Let me know your top three albums from 2023. And if you had any of the same in your top three, let me know. Let me know if you enjoyed any of these. Let me know if you didn't enjoy any of these. I'd love to see your opinions. And I'll catch you in the next one.